Organizers behind a property tax petition drive held a seminar in Garing Tuesday evening, seeking both signatures and petition circulators. KVB.TV News starts right now. From your trusted source for news in western Nebraska and eastern Wyoming, this is KNEB.TV News, presented by Platte Valley Companies, premier provider of financial services. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. And our top story, Paul Von Barron with Tax Relief Unites Everyone, or True Nebraskans, was joined by State Senator Steve Erdman of Bayard promoting the constitutional amendment that would return 35% of property tax payments to landowners in the form of a state income tax credit. Erdman says history has shown that the legislature cannot find solutions to property taxes that have continued to rise over the decades despite millions of dollars that have been earmarked for relief to landowners over the years. He says it's time for Nebraskans to take the issue to their own hands and place the measure on the 2020 general election ballot and, if approved, force state and local governments to become more efficient with taxpayer dollars. Von Barron adds that many people in Nebraska's largest cities are now seeing considerable increases in their property tax bills, and now is the time to address the issue in light of the pending U.S. Census. Well, the key thing is the, the 35 percent, for years we've talked about the three-legged stool, where property taxes and sales taxes and income taxes would roughly be the same burden to every Nebraska. If you reduce property taxes by about 35 percent, they somewhat come back into balance. And we are still the 18th most heavily property tax state in the union but it's a substantial improvement over where we are from number seven. Right? You can find more information by going to truenebraskans.com. Well, after a six-month hiatus, work is once again set to resume on Scotts Bluff's 42nd Street repaving project. Starting next Monday, phase six between the Village Drive and Fifth Avenue will begin, but city officials say 42nd Street will be closed to all traffic from Avenue B to Fifth Avenue. This will be the sixth and final phase of the year-long project that began in the spring of 2018. Well, coming up after the break, things beginning to dry off after nearly two inches of rain accumulated in the past few days here at the KDB studios. Bill Boyer's got your midweek forecast coming up right after this. Platte Valley Companies is your home team financial and insurance network that works for you. When it comes to estate planning, you should seek professional help. And when you do, you should have confidence in who you choose to handle your trust. Talking with someone about estate planning is a very sensitive thing. At Platte Valley Bank, we pride ourselves in keeping our trust operations local, serving our neighbors and friends. Respect for tradition, coupled with vision, that looks to the next frontier. Platte Valley Bank, a Platte Valley company, member FDIC. It's a place unlike anything I've ever seen where the whole focus is kids. From the community to the administration to the teachers to the coaches, everybody is doing everything they can for your kid. Kids get to play multiple sports, multiple activities. It develops a sense of responsibility and time management is really helping to prepare them for life down the road. You know, what I would say to somebody that's considering moral is you're a person here that's really, really cared about and loved. Celebrating 25 years in country music, singer-songwriter Tracy Bird performs live at the Midwest Theater in downtown Scotts Bluff. You all know his music, The Watermelon Crawl, Hold in Heaven, and Keeper of the Stars. Tracy Bird, live in concert, Tuesday, June 11th at the Midwest Theater in downtown Scotts Bluff. Tickets are on sale now, 632-4311 or midwesttheater.com. How does Arby's sell the most euros in America? Having over 3,000 stores with this insane two for six euro deal certainly gives us a head start. Also, passion. Arby's, we have the meat. For, uh, for sandwiches. This is KNEB.TV weather from the Arby's Weather Center. Arby's, we have the meat. Hey, we've got no rain in the forecast for tonight. How about that? Temperatures going to fall into the 50s, then down into the 40s. Another comfortably chilly night out there as temps uh, rebound tomorrow and some sunshine is on the way. So we have clearing skies overnight, sunny, nicer tomorrow, and really a very nice stretch of weather coming 
For most of the next seven days, caveat, it's going to be late Sunday when we could see a few strong thunderstorms out there. 54 yesterday after a morning low of 45, so we were stuck in neutral again yesterday. We did a little better than that today. If we had to temper our expectations, though, how about this? Another 123 of moisture. We're four and a half inches for the month. We're going to end the month of May over two inches above normal and for the year be uh, almost three and a third, uh, three and three quarter inches above normal uh, for the year as we're closing in on that 10 inch mark. We're at 10 and a half inches of moisture uh, here at KNEB. Well, hitting the links, get your golf forecast in. Finally, we can talk about that here the next several days. 73 on Thursday up into the upper 70s. Uh, chances of some thunderstorms late Sunday. Things really look quite nice, which is a lot better than where we've been for the last couple of weeks. Right here, uh, two weeks ago, uh, we were at 85 degrees, which was about 13 degrees above normal. Since then, we've been well below normal pretty much consistently for most of the last two weeks. Uh, this persistent pattern has been hanging around, bringing us colder than normal temperatures, but we're about to adjust that. Look at our 8 to 14 day outlook. We're heading above normal with temperatures here across most of the high plains, much above normal. Could be dealing with uh, some excessive heat in some areas up here in the far north, but we're in our area going to be under an area that's going to see uh, above normal temperatures and probably also above normal precip. Yeah, that seems kind of like an oxymoron, but we have a better chance of seeing above normal precip. That's mainly because there's so much moisture in the uh, ground that's going to evaporate and recycle itself over the course of the next couple of weeks. So uh, above normal temperatures and above normal precip if we had to take a, a one side or the other approach over the next two weeks. 60 right now in North Platte, 66 in Hayes, it's 59 in Norfolk, but we're warmer than that here in our area. How about some low to mid 60s across the area? Valentine at 67, 57 in Kimball, Cheyenne at 54. Winds are light and out of the uh, north, 5 to 15 miles an hour, so no concerns out there at all. And we don't need to worry about wind chills anymore. Maybe I can finally delete that map out of the system for the rest of the, the summer. Wouldn't that be nice? Few clouds moving overhead tonight. That's it. Partly cloudy skies is where we're going to average out. There'll be a period of some clouds. Generally speaking, though, partly cloudy. Low temperatures down around that 40 degree mark. A couple of upper 30s out there. Some patchy frost possible around Cheyenne. Most of us are not going to have to worry about that. Tomorrow, sunny skies. Could see some morning fog. Can't rule that out because it's so uh, much moisture out here. And then late tomorrow, we see a couple of thunderstorms. They're not going to make it off the mountains and off the high country. We're just going to see mainly sunny skies. Really a very, very nice day tomorrow. Temperatures in the low to mid 70s for most of us. Still a little cooler around Cheyenne as they stay in some of that colder air. Partly cloudy tonight, 41 for a low. Tomorrow, sunshine, a beautiful looking day out there. Highs pretty darn close to normal at 73. It's so nice to bring you a great looking forecast here that stays, stays pretty dry as we go Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday, Saturday. Now, as we look at Sunday, we're going to bring in a chance of some thunderstorms. Uh, Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, we have to watch for a couple of strong storms. Same situation by Wednesday of next week, but we're going a couple, three days without chances of rain, and those thunderstorm chances are scattered. Uh, and we can't completely rule some out uh, on the other days as well, but we're looking at mainly sunny skies, temps upper 70s to low 80s, and lows getting back in the upper 40s to mid 50s. So much more uh, normal or slightly above normal in terms of the temperature department. A seven day forecast I think we can all live with. How does Arby's sell the most euros in America? Having over 3,000 stores with this insane two for six euro deal certainly gives us a head start. Also, passion. Arby's, we have the meat. For, uh, for sandwiches. Next Gen Outfitters is your new local online source for hunting, shooting, and camping gear. With over a century of combined outdoor experience, we aspire to become the trusted supplier of all your outdoor gear needs. Next Gen Outfitters is where adventure begins and tradition continues. For the month of April, get $25 off orders of $100 or more. Go to nextgenof.com and use code NGKNEB. That's N E X G E N O F.com. Are you ready to join the celebration? Then what are you waiting for? Switch to Viero today and find out exactly why we're better. More towers than the competition, convenient stores in your neighborhood, friendly, helpful customer service, 
and top phones at excellent values, such as the iPhone XR for free. That's right, get a free iPhone XR when you purchase any other iPhone of equal or greater value. Vieira Wireless, your better choice for wireless service. Welcome back. Two Scotts Bluff residents are facing felony drug charges following the execution of a Friday search warrant on a home on Avenue H. Police arrested 30-year-old Longino Rangel and 24-year-old Shara Seifert in a basement bedroom where approximately 6 grams of methamphetamine and other drug paraphernalia was discovered. Rangel is charged with distribution of an exceptionally hazardous drug, which is a Class II felony, and Seifert is charged with possession of a controlled substance, as well as possession of marijuana less than an ounce. Both were scheduled for arraignment today in Scottsbluff County Court. Well, sticking with the courts, as a man accused of discharging a firearm during a disturbance at a Scotch Bluff residence earlier this month is now facing charges related to the incident. 24-year-old Santana Garza is charged with felon in possession of a firearm and misdemeanor operation of a motor vehicle to avoid arrest after he was taken into custody in a traffic stop late Friday night. Court documents say Garza was suspected of involvement in a disturbance on Avenue F in Scottsbluff back on May 18th, where a gun had been fired, but he was able to escape following a low-speed pursuit into Terrytown. Investigators say the vehicle belonged to Garza's girlfriend and was later located in Gehring with a spent shell casing found on the driver's seat. Witnesses at the Scottsbluff crime scene said Garza had beat up another man and had a gun in the car. And officials say the Cedarview Campground at Lake McConaughey State Recreation Area is closed so construction crews can complete upgrades to campground amenities. The Nebraska Game and Parks Commission says the upgrades will include new electrical and water utilities leading to 85 camping sites. Eight campsites will be updated with accessible features along with renovations to the existing shower facility. It's scheduled to reopen on June 13th but some of the work may not be finished until the fall. Well, straight ahead, we'll head on over to the Panhandle Humane Society to meet their featured head of the week. Don't touch that dial. KDB.TV News will be back right after this. Exceptional care, right here at home. That's the mission of Morrill County Community Hospital. Morrill County Community Hospital is a 20-bed critical access hospital that owns and operates clinics throughout Bridgeport including specialty outreach clinics and Morrill County Home Health Clinic, as well as Chimney Rock Medical Center, located in Bayard. Our dedicated team is committed to you and our community every time at Morrill County Community Hospital, Bridgeport, Nebraska. transform Nebraska corn into ethanol, it doesn't disappear from the food supply. It just takes a little detour. Ethanol is made from the starch. The rest of the corn becomes livestock feed to create meat and dairy products, corn oil, sweetener, and other food ingredients, and maybe a little carbon dioxide to make your soft drinks fizzy. Homegrown ethanol helps satisfy America's hunger for energy and the world's appetite for feed and food. Nebraska's Family Corn Farmers, sustaining innovation. It pays to be the early bird at Renewal by Anderson of Wyoming during our early bird triple saving sale. Right now, you'll save 20% on any window and patio door. Plus, don't pay anything until 2020. That's no money down, no payments, and no interest until 2020. Plus, receive a free glass upgrade with the purchase of three or more superior quality Renewal by Anderson windows or patio doors. Call 307-472-2199 to book your free in-home estimate today and take advantage of our early bird triple saving sale. Sometimes events in life are planned, others a happy surprise. No matter what life change you're navigating, whether you're getting married or just want a bigger yard for your pup, find a home that fits. First National Bank North Platte. Start your mortgage pre-approval today. Retirement, a new season in life where you can change how you live it. And something easier, convenient, that feels just right. When it's time, find a home that fits. First National Bank North Platte. Start your mortgage pre-approval today. Welcome back. 
For this week's featured pet of the week, we meet Bronze, a terrier pit bull mix who's begging for a great forever home. This here is Bronze. As you can tell, he gets his name from his amazing color. He's the pet of the week. I chose him because he's a very amazing dog. And when I say that, it's because he does require a lot of attention. I noticed that when you take him out to use the restroom, he doesn't really want to go. He wants to sit there and have you pet him. As you can tell, he wants to stay by my side, trying to trip me. And that's what I mean by attention. And he's about maybe two and a half years old, current on all vaccinations. Come on, Bruns. Current on all vaccinations, he's neutered. For a home environment, I would like to say he needs a lot of attention, so anything with kids, he works really well with kids. Cats, I'm not quite sure. I know he needs a nice, loving home who's gonna be around him. I don't wanna say 24 seven, but for majority of the part. His adoption price is 150. You just come in, fill out an application if you're not already, already approved. He is a very great dog because as you can tell, he walks great on a leash. He likes to stay by your side. He's a very loyal companion. To meet Bronze or any of the other dogs and cats they have available for adoption, you can head on over to the Panhandle Humane Society Monday through Saturday during normal business hours. Well, straight ahead, we'll take a look at your midweek community calendar. You said yes. Together, you planned every detail. You married. And then you realized 500 square feet just isn't enough room for two. When life happens, find a home that fits. First National Bank North Platte. Start your mortgage pre-approval today. You decide to add another to your family. You start reading parenting books. You're amazed that such a small human could need so much space. When life happens, find a home that fits. First National Bank North Platte. Start your mortgage pre-approval today. May is Beef Month, a time to celebrate the high quality beef products that are raised by farmers and ranchers right here in Nebraska. With over 5 million cattle fed and marketed each year, Nebraska is the number one cattle feeding state in the country. From steaks and roasts to ground beef and kebabs, Nebraska's beef producers take pride in raising safe, wholesome products that end up on dinner plates around the world. Join the beef community by celebrating Beef Month with your favorite beef meal tonight. Beef, it's what's for dinner in Nebraska. Sponsored by Z&W Mill in Torrington and Panhandle Co-op. There's a place where folks still play with fire. The common ground between backyard barbecue heroes and professional chefs. This is where friendships are forged, fire and flavor come together, and new techniques are perfected. Here in Big Green Egg Country, cooking is still treated as an art form. And since the most versatile grill you'll ever own comes with a lifetime warranty, you'll always have the ultimate cooking experience. Visit the experts at Paul Reed Construction, your authorized Big Green Egg dealer. Think a utility vehicle should do more than take you places? So does Kubota. That's why our all-new Sidekick is built to do it all. Climb more. Tow more. Go more. Cross over to more today. Take your Kubota Sidekick home with no money down and 0% financing for 36 months. Your local Kubota dealer is Sandberg Ippelman and Gehring. When it comes to helping local folks with the loans and financial advice they need, we don't horse around. Our only goal is to help you and your family achieve your financial goals with the right loans and savings products. So if you want to bank with people that care about you and your financial needs, stop by or give us a call. First State Bank. We're big on you. Member FDIC. Online at fsbcentral.com. Well, let's take a peek at what's happening on your midweek community calendar.
That's a look at today's community calendar, brought to you by First State Bank, honoring those who give back. Nominate your community champion at fsbcentral.com. At TCN Moore in Scotts Bluff, we have toys and puzzles for your children, or they make a great gift. TCN Moore has craft activities, pretend play toys, and dozens of puzzles and games for all ages. We also have the largest supply of Melissa and Doug toys. And we still carry all of your classroom essentials. Remember to like TCN Moore on Facebook. TCN Moore, 1621 Broadway, beautiful downtown Scotts Bluff. KNEB presents country music rising star, Dylan Scott. I'm Friday, August 16th at the historic Midwest Theater in Scotts Bluff. Presented by Allo Communications and Vieira Wireless. Tickets are on sale now at the Midwest Theater box office by phone at 632-4311 or at MidwestTheater.com. Dylan Scott, August 16th at the historic Midwest Theater in Scotts Bluff with KNEB. Platte Valley Companies is your home team financial and insurance network that works for you. Platte Valley Bank provides a broad range of financial tools for your short and long-term business needs. Our experienced commercial lenders will work with you every step of the way to help your business grow. At Platte Valley Bank, we are proud to provide you with local decisions by hometown people for your hometown business. Respect for tradition, coupled with vision, that looks to the next frontier. Platte Valley Bank, a Platte Valley company, member FDIC. And finally tonight... Kids in Garing are encouraged to discover a universe of stories this summer. That's the theme of Garing Public Library's 2019 Summer Reading Program. So the basic theme has to do with space, but we expand that to include other worlds and stories from around the world. And hundreds of kids were on hand today for the launch of this year's program. Librarians say there will be lots of fun activities throughout the summer for readers of all ages, including weekly story times for their youngest patrons, a city pool day, and a mystery mission escape room. They say at the end of the day, it's all about keeping kids engaged with reading this summer while school's out. Well, of course, summer reading has always been to try to make up for that summer lag um, that the kids get when they go home from school and don't do anything <laughs> all summer. So this fills in that gap to help them stay ready for the next year. And if you were unable to get registered for the Gehring Library Summer Reading Program today, you can still come to the library anytime this summer to get signed up. Well, that does it for us this time. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you here next time.